the Dick and Jane Show, starring Elvis Winterbottom as Dick and Katie Dean as his lovely wife, Jane. Last time on the Dick and Jane Show. I told you, we're having a Yo Mama contest on at the lodge, and the winner gets a prize ham. A ham? Your mom is so fat, she has more nooks and crannies than an English muffin. I want that ham. Your mom is like a fine restaurant. She only takes deliveries in the rear. I want that ham, Dick. I can't believe you guys go all out on this. It's just your mama jokes. Ah, uh, this is nothing. Wait till it starts. Everybody will be a nervous wreck. So let me get this straight. You guys call this lodge the Big Beavers of America, and your motto is, no wood is too large for these big beavers. You see, back in the day, this whole town was known for raising beavers as pets. Well, everywhere you'd look, you'd see somebody playing with her beaver. I used to watch Jane play with her beaver through my telescope. Oh, I was so shy. My beaver's name was Corky. That's how I knew Dick was the one. When my beaver saw Dick, she fell in love. Remember when you shaved your beaver? Well, it was hot. Oh, please, let's just focus on the competition. See, it hasn't even started yet, and you're already a wreck. Well, maybe this is just too much for him. He is from Canada and everything. Well, listen, we have got to toughen him up. I mean, he's in America now. I've already told you, I'm from Springfield, Illinois. Bert, please. The Americans are talking. It's Shane. OK, you know what? We have had this conversation already. That other name is too ethnic. Your American name is Bert. Hey, who's the new guy? Ah, he's this mail order bride. I got him on accident. I thought I was getting a Mearson pipe. It's nice to meet you. No, he's from Canada. Oh, nice to meet you. He's not deaf. Guten Tag. I tried that. He doesn't speak Spanish. Hmm. What is your name? It's Shane. Uh, what was that? I didn't understand anything. Me either. You're right, Dick. It's not Spanish. Guten Tag! Nah, I'm telling you, it's useless. It's like talking really? to a six-year-old. Hmm. OK, boys, you're scaring him. Why don't you go check in before it's too late? And Dick, I want that hand. And the only way for me to get it is for you to win. Win, Dick. Win me that hand. Oh, anything for you, Dal. And Larry. Can you please try not to be the first one out? Uh, Fat chance of that happening. I have a contingency plan. What's that? We'll see. No, tell me. No. Larry, you tell me. What's your name? Fine. <gasps> what is that? It came with a dress. Oh, really? The dress that matches the tablecloths. I didn't know they were going to use this color of tablecloths, OK? <laughs> Give me that! Drink, please! Don't coddle me. No amount of your comfort is going to ease this. I, I'm upset. Well, honey, if I'm judging the contest, there's no way I can win the ham. I'm judging the contest. I want that goddamn ham. Well, that I'm... ham is mine. I put my name on it. Uh, honey, I know, I know. We're going to have to take your name off of it. We're going to have to rub all that off. Look, it, you cannot, if I'm judging... It's maple syrup. It goes in. It goes into the skin. It's coming out. It's coming... Listen, honey, honey, honey. Look, I run the lodge. I run the lodge. You mm -hmm. can't win the ham if I won, won the lodge, right? Of course, right? I understand that. OK, so who wears the pants in our family? Do. Right, but who tells me how to put my pants on? Well, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so if you tell me how to put my pants on, and I'm the one supposed to be running the lodge, who's really running the lodge? I get where this gopher's going. Uh, I understand. I am. Uh, I'm running the lodge. I run all these people. I'm their boss. Uh, I'm boss. <laughs> Right, that feels good. Your, it's secret. Okay. All right, listen, uh, I'm going to go. Is that a secret? I can't. Okay. Don't really order them around, but you secretly, like the CIA, order them around. Ooh. Ooh. Can I get a gun? I want a gun. Make it pink. <laughs> I'd be afraid. All right. Listen, I'm going to go on stage now, honey. All right? You have a great time. I'll okay. look for you out there. Okay. You okay. have a good time. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Hey, my back feels better now. You wore the tie that gave you Father's Day. Oh, that's your winning tie. You're going to win today. I know it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Cinnamon, I don't care if I win. I just want to beat that Larry. Oh, he just gets under my goat, that smarmy Cuban. Oh, good. You go get him and put him right under your goat, and you keep him there, honey. 
Good idea. You make me the butt of his jokes on the golf course, Willie. Oh, yes, I know. But you know what? That's yesterday, and today you're the winner. All right, I'm going to go sit out front. I'm going to be in the front row. I'm going to be looking right at you, and you're going to win. But first, got to make up with the girls, though. I think there's still something a little more. Oh, honey, I don't have time for your feminine voodoo. I, I got stuff on my mind. I understand. Understand? No worries. I'm going to let you do your, your magic. Work your magic. Mm, love you, baby. I'll see you out front. Oh, man. Da 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 dum, dum dum dum, dum Will Dick win the ham? Who's running the lodge? What's Larry's contingency plan? Is Larry a swarmy Cuban? Does Rosa's tablecloth match her drapes? Find out next time in an all new Dick and Jane, entitled Feminine Voodoo Part Two Two. Or you shaved the wrong beaver. Or hey, get your Cuban off my beaver. Or Hey, your beaver's got maple syrup on it! Dun dun dum! Dun 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 dum! Dun dun dum! when you're standing here by yourself. What's, what's going on? <laughs>